Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now in front of me I've got the Shark RSJ Sassy style helmet. This is the Sassy design here, very nice it is too. Now there are loads of different designs, have a look at Bike Nation to see all the options. And over the next few minutes I'm going to take a look at all the features. <laughs> Now, before we have a look at all these different features, have a look at the bottom of your screen right now. You'll find links to Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media and where you can find all the other videos on Bike Nation as well. Now, this helmet construction, it's made from multi-axial glass fiber. Now, what that means to you and me is it's made from glass fiber and it's layered in multi-direction. So it's very, very strong as you'd expect it to be, it's there to protect your head. It's also got this fantastic design, and as I said before, there are loads of different options to so check out Bike Nation to see all the different styles and colors that you can get. So that's the outside. You can also see it's got vents and things and grooves and aerodynamic design. We will come back to that in a moment. We'll start by having a look here then at the visor. Now this visor, as you can see, is a full face visor, so it'll go down just below your chin line, and it's designed to protect you against the weather and bugs, that sort of thing, but it isn't an impact protector, so just bear that in mind. Now if you want to take the visor off at all, you want to give it a clean, change it for another one or something like that, what Shark have done is they designed a little feature. All you do is you pull the visor off like so. There are no buttons or levers or anything like that, it just comes out, but it is very, very secure. So take the other one off and the visor comes off completely. Give it a clean, put it back on if you want to. To put it back on, all you have to do is line it up like so and give it a little push and it clicks into place and then it's nice and secure and it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's a very simple system for taking the visor off. When you're riding along though, you might wanna put the visor down and you might want it to stay down. You don't want it to lift up at any time. So what Shark have done is they've added this sort of uh, little button area, I suppose. And all you do is you push it down, it clicks over the top into this hole here in the visor and that holds it very securely in place, it will not lift up as you can see. Then if you want to raise the visor up, all you do is just lift this side out, oh, there you go, lift it out and lift it up. Nicely done, very, very simple system. It's efficient and it's very easy to do, which is great. Now, this has got the outer visor, this clear one that you can see, but it also has another one. It's got an internal sun visor. This is scratch resistant and also fog proof too. So you can see it comes down, using the lever on the side, multiple positions if you want to, so you can really adjust it to wherever you want, depending on the height of the sun, of course, in the sky. And if you wear glasses, it's great because there's enough space between your glass line here and the internal sides of the sun visor, so you can wear your glasses at the same time. And there's also grooves built into the pads here as well. So if you do wear glasses, you don't get that pressure on the side of your head from the arms of your glasses digging in. So you've got two visors for the price of one with this helmet. And we'll go to ventilation next. You've got this huge area down here to allow wind in, to allow cold air in, which is great because it keeps your face nice and clean, but that does also bring a lot of noise in. So we'll come to the pads in a minute and have a look at noise reduction. But what Shark have also done is they created a little air vent on the top here. You've got these two little rockers, two little levers, one this side and one this side. You can open them and close them. And of course, when they're open, they direct that air into the helmet. And what you can't see is there's loads of channeling built in to the inside lining of this helmet and it directs all that air around your head and keeps you nice and cool as you're riding along. And then on the back you have a little tiny groove here with an air vent and that directs all the hot air out the back. It works like a, a vacuum system, all that colder gets drawn in, the hot air draws it out. So it will keep you nice and cool as you're riding along. So loads of features on the outside. Let's now have a look at the inside. Now the pads, the lining is made from a bamboo process, which is moisture wicking. So it'll keep all that moisture away from your face and keep you feeling nice and uh, dry as you're going along. And therefore you'll be comfortable. So you'll be able to concentrate on what's going on around you. Now these pads can be removed as with most pads. Fantastic little system. Before I do remove them, have a look at this bit here. This is a little curtain area. It goes around the back of your head. Now that helps to reduce wind wind noise it also stops drafts getting up as well and wind noise is really important because it means you can hear what's going on around you as well of course you've got a huge area here to allow noise in so these pads really do have quite a strong function they've got to stop that noise or as much of it as possible anyway if you want to take the pads off so you can give them a wash and you can do as well in the washing machine which is fantastic that's not always the same with pads these can go in a cold wash in the washing machine and then when they're dry put them back in the first one comes out like so it's got three poppers and a bit of velcro on there Take the other one off, but I want to come back to this in just a second, so I'm going to leave that one just here. You can also see you've got a skull cap. Now you can take this one off too, it simply slides out of the front just there, and then you grab the back of it, and it all comes off here. Oh, just got to try to get it from the inside, a bit of an awkward angle for me, but there you go. Out it comes, 
give it a bit of a tug, and this one as well. And the entire skull cap comes out as well, including that back area too. So you can see just how thick these pads are and how much protection they'll give you. You can also see from the inside here, you can see all this channeling, this air channeling, and that will direct any cold air around the inside of your head and keep you nice and cool as you're riding along. Now let's go back to the pads for a second because on the cheek pad here, it looks normal from the outside, but if I flip it around, you can see a little hole here with the foam. And that's so if you've got a shark tooth, Bluetooth system, or any sort of intercom system really, you can put it into the helmet and it's even got these little areas here designed that you could put Velcro on so you can actually mount your speakers and your headset straight into the helmet as well, which is great. It means it's all ready for you. You can also see you've got a double D lock system here as well. Very, very simple to use and of course, very easy to adjust so you can get it nice and tight if you want to. Fantastic little system. So that's the helmet with all its features. It does also come with a bag as you'd expect to keep it nice and scratch free. It looks fantastic so you want to keep it looking fantastic of course. And remember any orders from Bike Nation of £25 or over do get free delivery. Now it's available in a couple of different sizes so have a look at the sizing guide and if you've got any questions give the Bike Nation team a call because they'd be more than happy to help. Also have a look at the other videos on the Bike Nation channel, check us out on Facebook and Twitter and all the rest of it too. I'll see you again very soon.